I had this crazy idea to sit down for a couple of hours and write down my whole life so I can look at it and say, wow, this is me. This is my life. This is my experience. And I imagined this whole freaking wall that I can look at and just learn something new about myself. But now that I'm sitting here, the only thought that I have in my head is I don't want to do it. Not that it is too much work. There's just some things that I don't want to look at anymore where I'm like, I am so happy that I found peace with these things. And it's not that I want to ignore them. It's just that I've grown so much from them. I learned my lesson. I don't need to go back to visit that place anymore. I used to do this a lot, so many times where I used to journal about my life daily, about the things that I'm working through, the things that are bothering me, the things that make me happy, the things that are make me grateful. And I came to the conclusion that I do this a lot of the times when I'm severely stressed out, where my nervous system is just through the roof and I don't feel safe and I just need to hold on to something or I just need to figure something out or I need to analyze a certain emotion or I need to make big decisions. And in the past few months since starting this YouTube journey and really going all in on myself and my dreams, I just feel peace. There was no need for me to get out the pen and paper and write about it because I was just living my life. That is such a cool breakthrough. I don't need to journal hours and hours about my life to see how good my life is. Why am I getting emotional now? I have no need to do a therapeutic cleanse anymore. Four years back, three years back, of course. In 2020, when the whole world closed down, I was in a very, very dark place. I would say one of the darkest places in my whole life. I came back from traveling the world into being two weeks at home, totally by myself, totally stressed out, 100% lost and overwhelmed with just myself and in my life. What I did in those two weeks was that I wrote down everything I knew about myself, everything someone ever said about me. And I put it all on a wall and it was so good for myself and my heart. And there was just something in seeing that on these paper in front of the wall, where I felt like this is something that I know about myself. This is something that gives me some guidance. Three years later, I thought it would be such a cool idea to go back to that. Now in a very positive place in my life and do the same exercise. And honestly, there's literally no need about this anymore. It feels repetitive. It feels going backwards. I don't need the proof with pages on my wall to see that I made a good life for myself and that I healed. I'm so freaking proud of myself. <laughs> I still believe that writing your life down can be such an inspirational and helpful exercise, especially if you feel lost in life. But I don't feel lost anymore. I don't need it. I just, it's okay. I just wanna be here, have a good time. I know exactly what my goals are. And that is, it's just, It's liberating, honestly. From all of the things and words that I can think of, it is the most liberating thing after months and months of denying myself, denying my dreams, of feeling lost and overwhelmed, being stuck in a business that was not for me anymore and living a life that was full of stress. So there's nothing I need to release anymore. It's just, I made peace with it. I am so shook right now. <laughs> This is good, this is good.